Hey, what's up guys? This is our first food show of the year. This is Peter, you know Peter, he's my good friend. He's a, an amazing cook. And today we're cooking straight bass that one of your friends caught. Right, yeah, my friend Mike, he gave me this nice hunk of striped bass. This is the shoulder piece, it's really lean. And uh, it's about two days old, which is perfect. So we're gonna make a little bit of sashimi off the head piece and then grill the rest up. And uh, let's get going with it. So I'm gonna cut off this little head section here and we'll preserve this for sashimi. Look at that. We're gonna make it uh, a little Mediterranean style with olive oil and some lemon zest. So I'm gonna put this on reserve. We're calling this lunch. These are nice, you know, kind of restaurant size portions. So, so that's that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of do this on the fly, is make a little kind of a Mediterranean tapenade. These are Kalamata olives. For some reason the supermarket didn't have pitted. So these have pits in them and just smash it. That's the easiest way to get pits out. There's nothing worse than biting into a pit. So we're not going to use too many of these. So then I'm just going to rough chop these. So we're going to use this. We just picked some lettuce from John's garden. I have cauliflower. We're going to make cauliflower steaks. These are some cherry tomatoes, which are actually really good. They're nice and sweet. I'm going to throw maybe two of these, two or three of these on the grill. Right now. Yeah, that'll just add, you know, just a little different texture to it. Not not too much. So we're gonna go some raw and some that'll go on the grill for a second. Alright, these have only been on 20 seconds. So you can see they just got blistered up a little bit. You know, they're still basically raw, but they have a little char on them. Gonna smash up some garlic. So you could take some salt. We're gonna smash this salt up. This is sea salt, and that kind of helps break it down. It's almost like an abrasive to help break the garlic down. These are capers. So I'm gonna add that right in. And the last thing we're gonna add in is the lemon zest. So this is the tool I use a lot. This is the zester. You can do it with your knife, but this just makes it makes it easy. Then I'm gonna cut this lemon in half. I just squeeze it through my fingers so you don't get the seeds in. So to cap this off, I'm gonna finish with olive oil. So what we have in here is we have some Kalamata olives. You can have, use any olives you have. Uh, just rough chop. We have tomatoes, we have capers, we have garlic, and we have some lemon zest. And then I'm just going to top this off with a nice coating of olive oil. So this is going to be the topper for our fish, this is going to be the topper for the cauliflower, and it's also going to be the dressing for our salad. We're going to get these ready for the grill. I'm not going to add any other seasoning other than salt, pepper, and olive oil here. Our friend Mike, who is from Garnica Plywood, imports this olive oil, and this is from Spain, from the Rioja region of Spain. So this is our first time using it. It looks, it looks amazing. You can see the color. So we're going to use some of that, and then turn it over, do the same thing on this side. I, I like to salt fish right before you put it on the grill, otherwise it'll suck a lot of the juices out. And I season fish liberally, especially striped bass, which is meaty but very mild. And I like a big a big crack on my pepper. You know, you can dial it down if you don't like it, if you like a little finer. And we're just gonna let this sit for a minute as our grill comes up to temperature. And I'm gonna cut up this cauliflower and we're gonna get that on as well. This is a head of cauliflower. I'm gonna make steaks out of this. We're only gonna use half. You can grill a whole head of cauliflower, it's phenomenal. You slow grill it, it turn, for like an hour on the cool side of your grill, it turns out amazing. So we're gonna try to make some cauliflower steaks here. I keep the core in for now. You can eliminate some of the green, but the core will keep it together. So we cut it in half, and you can't get too many steaks out of here, but we're gonna try to get, try to get three. So that one kind of fell apart. So we're gonna 
use this one, which is a little bit bigger than a steak. Let's go with these. Let's go with these two. Put one more on. Michael's here. All right, good. We have a we have a third. Olivia so gonna, will eat that too. All right, we're gonna get into this other half here. So I'm gonna clean up. Here are our three three steaks. I'm gonna clean up a little bit of this core, but you have to keep the core in there to keep it together. So same thing here. All we're gonna do is use a little salt. Actually, a lot of salt. And we're gonna use some more of the olive oil. Rub that in, flip it over, and do the same thing. And we'll pepper this as well. I'm trying a little of this on the cauliflower. Wow, that is so good, man. So good. You can go with anything. It goes on bread, raw veggies, go on meat, anything. We're gonna get these on the grill. I'm gonna start with the cauliflower. I like cauliflower charred up. You really can't can't overcook it in, in my opinion. So we got a nice hot grill. I'm just gonna flare up a little bit because of the olive oil on it. That'll probably take about five minutes total. So we're gonna close this up and let it get going. All right, we're gonna do a swap out here. I'm gonna put this striped bass on. We're gonna use the hot side of the grill here. So, look at that. That's gonna flare right down. That's just, again, the olive oil coming off. And we're gonna put these guys right back into the oil that we had on the plate. I don't mind. Some people say, oh, you have to wash it. It doesn't bother me at all. We're going to eat the sashimi. So it's all the same flavors here. We're going to let this big piece go a little bit longer. Right, let's give this a look. The fish has been on about two minutes. I don't like to move the fish. I like to turn it one time and one time only. It releases itself easier from the grill when the first side is done properly. So we're going to take this third piece off. This will stay stay hot as we finish the fish. I'm going to leave that open for a second. That's going to be good. That could be a meal itself. A lot of people have cauliflower steaks as a meal. It's it's really meaty as, as you'll see and uh, obviously really really healthy. Three ingredients on that. Actually four. Salt, pepper, olive oil, and and lemon juice. All right we're going to give these give these a turn. Oh that's perfect. So you see you have a little caramelization there and it comes right off. We're going to put this in for another minute. I'm going to turn the top off just to crisp up that other side. And I'm going to take it off. It's going to continue to cook once it's off the grill. All right, we're going to get these off. You can kind of see in there that they're still going to cook a little bit more off the grill, but you don't want to overcook, especially a fish like striped bass. Let's plate this up. I'm going to start with the cauliflower. Here's some of the lettuce. Great invention, the salad spinner. I already spun this. This is straight from John's garden. A nice mix. We're going to just lay that in there. Lay this here. You can make this look as pretty as you want, but we're going to eat this straight away here. So we're going to take some of our tapenade and put that over the fish. Take a squeeze of lemon over the whole thing. A bit of salt just over the salad. I like seasoning my salad. I like dry lettuce. That's where the salad spinner comes in and you gotta season it with a little salt. Uh, it's time to eat and this is uh, awesome. Let's see, let's moment of truth. Let me see the inside of that fish. That's perfect. You can see it's still on the rare side. If it gets yeah, so good. See how meaty that is? Yeah. It's really, really nice and very, very mild. Yeah, it does need flavor. Um, wow. That's where that tapenade comes in because it really is when it's that fresh, it's so mild. So you could do the same thing, by the way, with halibut would work really well. Swordfish would be great doing the exact same way. What do you guys think? It's good. Really good? Hey, okay. <laughs> it's a little sunny for my photography. Oh, that looks good. Wow, that looks pretty. <laughs> we didn't know you'd be home from school. You had a full day, huh? Did they have a half day today? All week. 
They had an all-week half day? I don't know why. Then they finish up on Monday. They go back for half day on Monday. Michael, you want to try, try some of the sauce on it, Michael? Oh, well.